Well, greetings once again, YouTube. It's been a little while since the last podcast, and that's because, well, I haven't had a whole lot of time to do these. Uh, for two reasons. One, I've been getting some more work recently, so yay. Uh, the other is a lot of my other free time has been taken up with Minecraft. More specifically, the latest patch slash update for the Minecraft beta, beta 1.81, or 1.8.1, whichever you prefer. Now, I love Minecraft. It's a fun game. I, I love the openness of it. I love the creativity of it. And I believe I've already done a little review on that. So, I'm reviewing strictly the 1.8. Now, I haven't seen everything that's brand new with 1.8. Uh, and some of the things really don't matter that much when you really get right down to it. I mean, does it really matter that they added suspended particles into water. It might be nice, it adds a nice subtle effect, but that doesn't stand out. No. But there have been a lot of improvements. The biggest one, the one I'm really, really happy that they did, was add creative mode to the creative mode to the regular beta. Now, for those of you unfamiliar, creative mode is basically you get every single block and item in the game, an infinite amount of them. You can't die, you can fly around and you can just build to your heart's content which is really fun if you have a big project that would be almost impossible to do or if you want to kind of set up a minecraft world with some established stuff in it before you start playing you know the actual game of building building if you want to kind of establish your own world so it's incredibly fun uh, there, there is a charm to doing the old, you know, survival mode where you have to get everything yourself. And I understand completely anyone who argues for that. I get it. It is fun, but it is also very, very fun to just go and build and not have to put up with a lot of the, the other BS. If you really just have a, an ideal in your head of some sort of massive complex that you want to build. Uh, one of the first things I did when I got Minecraft was build. Uh, when I got the 1.8 update, was to build this massive. Shaolin Temple slash jo Dojo school with like Mortal Kombat themes to it, uh, which I think looks good. <laughs> uh, but it's very fun. Now there's been a few other things, of course, to it as well. Uh, we have additions of several new items, which are awesome. As always, it's always fun to have additional things you can play with. Uh, uh, specifically, well, I guess they're really not blocks, but uh, they added these iron bar things, which are really cool in my opinion, because they add a great little uh, flavor if you're going to build something. If you want to build something that looks like it's really caging something in, or if you're going for a real medieval looking castle and you want to add like a dungeon in the bottom, uh, th these definitely beat the hell out of... Uh, gates, especially if you're also building like a prison area, uh, this this wins. I mean, take the, take the iron bars here, combine them with the, uh, the iron doors, and you can build like a real prison-y area. Now, in addition to that, they've also added with the, well, regular fences, they now have like fence doors, like gates, which is great because you can actually now kind of really have a cultivated animal area. So if you're trying to really like have sheep so you can constantly get the uh, if you're playing survival mode at least the uh, the wool it's very useful or if you need it for food and that's even more important now because they added eating and this is something I didn't like with this edition uh, because now when you're playing survival mode it, it really you want to spending a lot of time just going and getting food uh, especially if you're only playing with if you're only playing with yourself in survival mode you know, you're going to spend most of your time doing food. If you're playing with two people, you basically have one guy who's going to build, one guy has got to run around and find every cow, chicken, and uh, pig he can find and slaughter it and kill it. You know, it gets to get the food. Uh, I guess in that respect, it does encourage you to play with more people. Uh, because then it becomes very easy if you can just assign one person to get the food, somebody's going to go do the mining, somebody's going to go do the wood. You know, the way you should be doing if you're playing a, with a good group as it were. 
but it's still very annoying. It's, oh, my health is low. In fact, you have to eat, fill up your bar basically to start really generating health again. It gets a little annoying. It, I wish there was a way to turn it off. I've looked and other people have looked. I thought they were going to add this into the options where you could turn off the food. And if I were to say anything, I would say they need to add that in there because I think a lot of people would rather play survival mode without having to worry about eating. Ultima was fun, but you know everyone kind of complains that the eating thing was annoying. There's no reason Minecraft has to repeat that. Uh, the other big update, though, for this was, of course, the addition of the Enderman, the the new mob monster, whatever you want to call it, uh, and it slightly. It's slightly disappointing. Not like how the uh, the food is annoying, but in that I think they overhyped like the I think they made it seem like the Enderman was being almost like a boss character. That it, you know, if you came across an Enderman, it was gonna be oh shit, it is on. At first, a lot of the information was the only way you could really hurt him was to get him in the water. Now he does get injured from water, but you can go up and fight him, and he's not that much tougher than a zombie, a spider, or a. Uh, or skeleton and I mean yeah he does the teleporting trick you can actually if you kinda of run away from him he'll teleport to you but since you can fight him he's not that much I really wish they had made it him almost impossible or have a huge amount of hit points unless you dragged him or tricked him into going into water and just make him a much more rarer spawn like you would only see him like once in a blue moon, the Enderman would show up, and he would really like. The other thing he can do is he can actually remove blocks, which actually can make him very annoying because he won't rip down your entire wall. He'll take like one block out of the wall, which can get annoying. Then if a creeper shows up and it looks through the wall, which it now registering, you know, it does the tss, boom. There goes your wall. Uh, that's really. The problem there, of course, you can just make your wall two blocks thick, and the Enderman is really not going to do much then. Because uh, he'll just randomly pick up a wall. So you'll be walking around, or a block, I should say. So now in the game, you'll kind of be walking around. It'll be like a, a flat area, and there'll be one random block popped up, and that'll be where the Enderman was. Or there'll be one block missing from the floor, or from the ground, and that's where an Enderman was the previous night. He still lights on fire, you know, when the sun comes up. I really kind of... I. I I mean, he's not a bad mob. He's an interesting addition. But I kind of wish that they had done it. Made him a little bit more badass. There is talk that they're going to add in bosses at some point. So maybe they'll make a, a truly super Enderman. An uber Enderman. But for now, it's alright. Um, I have seen the villages, which they are now spawning. Now uh, another type of terrain is they basically spawn a village with buildings and such. Uh, in the future, they're going to put NPCs in there. Thus far, there's no NPCs, but it, it is nice, and it did give me at least an idea of, of like, uh, they, they do spawn in there, like, tables and such, which is really just, you know, the post for a fence, and then you put a a, a plate on top. Uh, not a plate, uh, well, yeah. Like a wood plate, and it looks kind of tableish. I really just wish they would just add tables. Get, let me just build tables and chairs. Uh, you know, that's still the one big complaint I have with this game thus far is they really need to allow you to add more aesthetic stuff to your uh, buildings. They have the bed, great. Let me build the desk. Let me build a lamp, you know. Build more stuff I can fill rooms with. The paintings are cool. Uh, let me build. A, let me have an actual true flag that'll kind of weave and stuff. You know, something along those lines. You know, tables, benches, chairs. Uh, I hate to say it. Look at Terraria. Terraria added a ton of aesthetic stuff you can add and actually make rooms that feel authentic. Like they have kegs. You can build a keg and put it in a put it in a room to make a real kitchen. I always feel if they're adding all this uh, this stove stuff or this uh, this cooking stuff, they really should have a new. Uh, let you create a stove that'll let you make better stuff. That way you can also make kitchens for your larger houses. 
Uh, it doesn't you know it doesn't have to be you have to have the stone uh, a stove or whatever to make food, but hey, if you want to make some high level stuff, you have to make a, a you know a pot with water or something along those lines. Uh, hell, even this like being able to put like glasses and stuff out or vases to kind of you know if you wanted to do a place that's going to look like a tavern, it's it's kind of cool to put that there. Even Terraria had done that, so it's, that's my complaint, especially because we didn't get one of the things I was hoping for, which was a lamp. Uh, you're supposed to, or I should say, a lantern. Uh, they did not add the lantern, uh, the lantern, which is disappointing because there's only two ways to light an indoor space right now because there is a day-night cycle, and that's with a torch, or you have to get glowstone, which is just a glowing block. And, well, you kind of don't want to, sometimes you don't want to use the glowstone indoors, You kind of, but you don't want to aesthetically have a torch. You know, you want something different to light your space, and... It shouldn't be that hard to make a lantern in Minecraft. I mean, really, uh, it shouldn't be that much of a feat. It's just give it a lighting level as its stat and give it a shape. I don't know why they didn't add it. They were talking about adding it. I'm not sure if they decided to uh, question whether uh, there was talk originally that to get the lantern you would have to get glowstone, which is something you have to go to the, the Nether area, that was just like the the alternate world if you're unfamiliar with the game. I don't know if they maybe started to rethink that because they figured they would now need to spawn more glowstone or that they thought it was just too hard as an end game. but you know, just okay, make some iron bars, put a torch in the center of some iron, bar, you know, iron bars and that'll generate a lamp. You know, if, if you want to do that. Hell, you could also just do it like have some like two iron bar, yeah, iron bar and a torch that creates a lamp, or it can create two lamps if you're worried about that requiring too many resources, or three lamps. You know, they can make it generate multiple lights. Uh, I'm a little perplexed. I'm still hoping that they're going to come out with that with the next update. They they already had said they're going to split the the, uh, the Minecraft uh, this update into two parts. I don't know, maybe they wanted to save some stuff uh, like that for the next one, for the next patch, so that they already would know going in that there would be certain things they would have in addition to whatever else they're going to add in. Maybe. Uh, I have not seen the large mushroom biome, the, what I call the mushroom kingdom. I have not come across that yet. Uh, likewise, I have also not come across the the other new mob, which is the silverfish, which is kind of like an underground worm, as far as I've been told. Uh, so I don't know if, how tough it is or anything like that. I haven't heard too much about it either. They also added something else, which at least at this time doesn't really seem to help or do anything at all, which is experience orbs. You get experience points, but they don't seem to do anything. Uh, I have I know they were gonna plan on doing stuff later on with the experience. I don't know exactly what they're gonna do. Or if they're just gonna, you know, Minecraft isn't a stat-based th thing. Unless they're gonna, you know, you get certain like I don't know rewards. You can produce more materials if you're a higher level. Uh, but thus far, you just kind of collected. I kind of wish. I, I, it almost seems like with that. I mean, I know yes, this is technically a beta, but. It seems like they probably should just, okay, once you figure out how to do the experience, okay, we have that. Let's just hold off until we figure out what we're going to do with the experience. There's no reason to put it into the game yet. It's my opinion. Eh. And that is basically it. Uh, they do probably have to work on the uh, the randomly generated villages, because I went to one and a couple of the, ho the, the houses, you couldn't technically walk into the door. The door was kind of underground because of where it spawned. Like the door is half sticking above ground, so you'd have to dig. You have to dig out a couple, you know, a block or two, to get to the door. Uh, that was only like one or two houses, though. Uh, they probably should work on that. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, there is a ton of stuff uh, that they've added. Of course, you know, a ton of small stuff uh, made flashier title screen. Uh, the multiplayer. Uh, serverless is fun. I, I I hope they add a regular, like mul more like a traditional games multiplayer. I don't want to have to go through Hamachi every time I want to play. 
uh, they have added like underground mines, which are actually kind of cool. These kind of pre-built underground mines, which you can kind of tap into to start going down. But also, uh, I mean, my friend were building it on one map. We uh, we started to just build our base inside the mine, uh, which proved rather effective, I think. Uh, of course, they also added the cave spider mob, which is a slightly different spider that kind of poisons you, which is very, very annoying, but it's a challenge. I mean, I'll give them that. Uh, they also added ravines and such, which uh, which can be fun if you try to incorporate them into your uh, into your buildings. If you kind of you can either kind of make hanging facilities or build a small village kind of on the cliff wall which is kind of cool, or if it's a small enough ravine, you kind of build over it, and all of a sudden you have this massive basement. <laughs> uh, but overall, it's very fun. I do recommend it. It's uh, about 20 bucks now if you buy the beta, and of course, when you buy the beta, you also, when the, the official game is released, you get the official game, which is really just going to be another update. <laughs> Uh, so it's certainly worth it if you're interested. If you ever played Terraria or one of those games, you'll you'll love Minecraft even more because it is 3D. So it adds much more fulfilling construction. Uh, however, like I said before, they really just need to add some aesthetic stuff for inside your structures. Uh, you know, couches and sofas, chairs, like put a regular wooden chair and you know like a nice big comfy chair or a throne, which would be kind of cool too. I know I'm kind of getting into more what I want there to be in uh, Minecraft. But that's about it for now. I will give a, probably another, give another review. I know a lot of people have already done their 1.8 reviews. I was a little behind on this. Sorry. But uh, that's it for this podcast. Signing off. Talk to you guys some other time.